Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian and I'm back. And this time I'm really back. <laughs> I have been out of the loop for a long time on at least YouTube and I have been doing my sauna though and really getting deep in meditations and all sorts of things. Um, I just haven't had the time to post them, but I'm doing it now, okay? So this is where I go and I meditate and I do a vlog so that I can remember the things that come to me during my meditations, right? Because this is an amazing, like, clearing out of your energy and really getting into altered dimensional states, right? It's wild. It's just really wow. Uh, plus, you just detox like crazy. And I know a lot of people are toxing up during Corona time because the intensity is literally off the chain. Like, so it's been good for me to like take a little time and not have to worry about posting and just really get clarity for myself because I'm doing so many readings that it's helpful to be clear, obviously. <laughs> anyway, so what I wanted to talk about today is that tomorrow Mercury is going retrograde and Mars has already been retrograde in Aries and... I'm not an astrologer by trade, but I do study astrology and I've studied astrology forever. Um, and I do believe in going with the flow as opposed to against the flow. And that way you can really use the energy of the universe to your advantage. So we've been with Mars retrograde for a while now. And Mars is a plan of action and moving things forward and getting things done and war and really masculine energy and aggression and it's retrograde meaning it appears like it's going backward in, in the sky which gives the energy of feeling stuck okay and because it's in Aries its ruler Aries is also the sign that's associated with Mars it's an aggressive sometimes very domineering sometimes bossy sign right um, and so when you have a, the ruler and the planet in its sign retrograde especially with this energy it can be very it can get you so frustrated and angry and there can be a lot of explosive sort of angry actions and interactions that happen okay add to that mercury going retrograde which mercury is the planet of communication and clear communication um when it's positively aspected in the sky and when it goes retrograde, again, appearing to go backwards in the sky, but not really going backwards, it can cause massive confusion. Miscommunications, uh, deception sometimes, and all sorts of garbly, garbly gook. Okay, so this intensity is about to really get thick. And what I've been seeing in my readings is that we all have this final sort of big hump to get over to get us into 2021 and once we get through all of that including the election including all sorts of craziness that we have to deal with over the next month it'll get better i see it just getting better everyone will be able to relax again at least for a while um but going back to mercury retrograde it goes back and retrogrades into scorpio <laughs> which is the deep, 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 dark recesses of the mind sign and the secrets and sometimes the weird, subversive, kind of crazy stuff and sometimes the manic stuff and sometimes prisons and all sorts of deceptions can be associated with Scorpio. It can be very, very, very deep spirituality as well, but when negatively aspected, it can be very, it can be very dark. <laughs> deep and dark okay so we might see a lot of um deceptions that have been going on come and see the light of day sort of like the dirty laundry finally coming out from the depths being buried in the backyard and whatever okay so get ready for all of that <sighs> okay but having said that it doesn't mean that you should just crawl under a rock being really forward into in your intuition coming from your third eye as opposed to from your like reactive gut or your intellectual mind even um delay responses breathe and then 
think about it through your third eye okay and that will never ever lead you astray <laughs> that will keep you going on your path and like a light house shining the right direction okay and you'll be able to feel it in your heart right so keep that in mind as we come into this very very intense time it's been intense af for a long time already we've all been kind of holding on to our hats going what the frick are you kidding me one more thing one more thing what are you kidding me it's like what so breathe, know that we're going to get all through this on the other side of it. Keep your intuition very open and prominent. Go with that. That'll take you right down where you need to go, where up where you need to go. <laughs> Be sure and vote. Okay, keep the faith. Keep the faith. You're all going to be fine. Okay, I promise we're all going to be fine. So now I've been in here about 45 minutes. It's 152 degrees sweating bullets. I'm really feeling good. I just am going to go into another deep meditation. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning back in. I promise I will keep going with this. This is my new regimen in my new sauna. And so right on everybody. Bye.